so today I am taking you to um, a journey with me. We will be going a bit later to uh, a restaurant, a cultural restaurant, to a YouTuber. So this is like um, first day after my birthday and to get started, let's get a glimpse of Calgary. I'm currently going to an appointment, but after the appointment, we are going to uh, to to an Afghani restaurant. So we'll have uh, a little taste of uh, Calgary cultural. So I'm currently in a taxi. So just enjoy a little bit the view here. Yes, and I shall see you soon. Then again, you have editing skills. <laughs> so we are with my. Uh, we are with my um, healthcare advisor. So uh, today I'll be taking via for my company. I mean, it's a one thing, one thing in this phenomenal Canadian system where you uh, have to have a healthcare. Healthcare plan, healthcare plan. So uh, we'll be just getting a little uh, taste of what she does, you know, and uh, the the healthcare plan that I'll be taking. She works for a company called Primerica, but uh, they offer different types of healthcare plans. So one of the ones that she provides, I will be, you know, she'll give us a little briefing. I'll just let you in for a little bit and then we'll just, yes, Absolutely. so thank you so much for having me over today. My pleasure, it has been a um, much, muchly anticipated yes. visit, I would say visit. Yes. You know, there is the formality of things and then there is the familiar things and that's, that's what's important. Um, health coverage, health and dental. Uh, when we're in business, uh, I think that people are very, very aware of making sure they're care they're, that they are uh, the expenses that they need are dealt with in an advantageous way. And so benefits, if you have a, if you are an employee or health and dental coverage um, we take on, is a way a business person or sole proprietor takes on um, to make sure that any expenses related to the care of themselves is done in a pra more practical sense instead of having to out of pocket. You know, they have that yes. idea of other people's, other people's money. Um, it is also to know that we use our money in our business for other expenses and then we, we take on something called, you know, health and dental to cover those expenses um, associated with that. Okay. So um, it's one of those things, again, for those people who have worked in an environment that they did have benefits, um, you walk in and you fill up paperwork and HR helps you. And then in times, um, you step away from those companies or, you know, you just realize that you need to do things more effectively. So you, you look at it. And so it's something I know professionally when I was in corporate. I know um, life out of pocket when you're paying for the dentistry or you, you, you're paying for the chiro, you're paying for the massage out of pocket. And it can sting sometimes. And then I also know about having coverage personally to offset, you know, the, the total amount of those things, those coverages. So now let me know something. Mm -hmm. If my employees are abroad, so let's say they are not just in Canada. Mm. Good question. And they are in other countries. Right. And I would like them to be covered by the healthcare plan according to the Canadian system because they are working for, in that case it mm. will be as if they are working for an international company. Right. Like would it be possible because I do not know, I mean, if in that country, the I w would I have to find out if in that country, would I be able to cover them, like if they go for medical right. thing in that country, how would that work? Right. Do you understand what I mean? Because right. the card is here, it applies to the Canadian system, but mm -hmm. would I be able to take that healthcare plan here yeah, and work. work it? Over there, because the medical system might not be the same. Exactly. So there are the great um, practical um, um, 
global perspective, we're not there yet. Okay. So the, com the companies in Canada, okay, um, are either limited by region or province. Okay. In this case, um, we deal with a company that deals country. Okay. So it would be for people who have permanent residence, not even citizenship, but permanent residence, meaning they have a status okay. as recognized uh, by the government. Okay. okay. For people who travel back and forth, right, it would be, you know, for people who are have their grounding and their, their, their status is here in Canada. Okay. So there would be limitations. Just like you said, though, it's because if you traveled anywhere in the world, that might not be equal. So, you know, if something is defined here as coverage, it may not be defined there. And so the, okay. world, have, the world is, you know, is opening up. It's not there yet where there's a global definition for coverage. Okay, so the company will have to work with uh, uh, maybe a, a, a health care plan that they have over there and right. kind of, uh, subsidize and, it. Right, right. And if, you know, and it would be interesting to know the different things that people do yes. have. A lot of people in North America, in Canada specifically, don't have. And so, you know, it's where people tend to start collecting that information of knowing what really is the cost for self-care. But you know what, I actually always thought that because I didn't have, um, uh, I mean, the time I was away from the corporate world as an employee, I always thought that if I didn't have a plan via a company that I was working for, that I had no plan. So it right. was quite a discovery a few years ago. But now that I'm as well an uh, employer, an entrepreneur, it, will be, it, is, it is great for me to know that, okay, yes, I can be covered by that and whomever is hired. Absolutely. So actually, if I hire someone here who has a permanent residency, even just a permanent residency. Absolutely. So if I do not have a permanent residency, they don't have status. And the reason why that, that, that is interesting, yeah, yeah. and it's because it, it's tied to their, the person's status in that if they have Alberta health care, then they have some some form of status. And um, further than that, you know, it's these there is some, I'm sure, some actuary math to probability of. of so let's say they were here on vacation just for a summer looking for. So it will not be possible to even no. Okay, so we need to have at least permanent Absolutely. residency. So, because you know what, what is coming out now, the border, you know, the world is opening up, people moving back and forth, but really for company or countries to take on the associated expense of taking care of people, they need to know how to be able to do it effectively. So if someone's coming back and forth, that's when there's different kind of coverages when people, you know, a lot of times we hear about people's family members coming to visit, their parents are coming. Well, that's a totally different kind of coverage, right? But there is something totally different, though. It's, it, it is usually taken on um, for people who are going to be having, for example, if someone's parents were going to come. Oh, let's say international student. Different status. Okay. Yeah. Different status because then they have a different visa that they're functioning under. But do you have a certain healthcare plan that can? No. That is very interesting. It is. It is. There, you know, that there are lines where people need to know what they can and cannot. Like what what is available? I should say can. So literally, it will have to be that I will have to work something internally within my own company if I choose to hire, for example, an international student. Absolutely. So it's just that it will not be, there is no healthcare packages out there that can necessarily assist, but I could work something out within my own company. Right. The other situation is, you know, the, if a person is coming to some kind of status before their permanent residency, well then we know that through their visa status and whether or not they have a health healthcare or those kind of things, well then that's that's the person will be very clearly informed by the government what, what they what they'll have access to, right? Will they get a card for their province? I say Alberta just because we're in Alberta, but yes. you know, there's coverages by by um, by region or province in our case. It's good to know, right? Because again, like you said, if you don't have sometimes people just think there's no options. Right, and, mm -hmm. and they don't even know what they're entitled to if they do have, you know, cards and indications of some kind of protection or coverage. So it's in this day and age, it's information really makes a difference. Yeah. Okay. So what about uh, that's pretty sensitive. That's you know, a pretty sensitive. Uh, it is because a lot of times people, you know, I think the the danger that people realize is that they come. And there's, you know, these naive sentimentalities of these countries, like the United States is the land of milk and honey, right? 
you just sleep on something, you had an idea, you're rich. Canada, it's a safe, safe, safe country. But then not everything that might occur. Because think about it, when we were younger, when we traveled, did you have insurance? Did you have travel insurance? No, you just hopped on a plane. Like you, all you budgeted for was the the airfare. Because sickness doesn't doesn't go with your status. Exactly. Like so, you know, like and, and that is why we end up with people who go in the hospital with uh, uh, ends up with thousands of dollars for bills. But right. I mean, I do I do remember that I used to have an international. Um, something student card and they will tell you that in case you had certain health right. issue it will cover certain things but then again it's not um, so super visa is is what people will get when their families are visiting that's a very common question that we have for for years and that's just not a scope of edge right however there's some companies that offer them it's very expensive we're not going there it's very expensive okay However, though, but better to have it than not, just like travel insurance, okay. right? Because again, we were, we were, I don't even know if we were naive, it was just the time, signs of the times. You traveled to, your expense was to get to a place. You didn't think about illness, you didn't think about injury, you didn't think about death. You're just thinking about, you get there, you do it, you come home with memories. So even if the person has a temporary work permit and everything, we cannot... Correct, correct, correct. Correct, and that's all. That's okay. And when I say that, it's okay. It's that people being able to be here with some kind of um, uh, navigation okay. to our system. It's not a mystery. Then they're as close as they're going to get for Canadian citizenship or status than they ever going to be. And in our country, people can get it, and it's not a lot already. Right, and it, it it's possible. So that the battle is when someone gets here, or you know, has ties, and is navigating. They are able. They are closer. They are warmer to the heat, if we could say that, right? Because okay. there are some people, in some countries in this world, you will never have status, and they are fine with it. And people's existence there is very alluring, but they'll they'll never. They will. They'll pick a. You can be there for years. Right? you know, taxes and stuff like that. And then what happens is, is when they have a national. We are good. Your destination is on the left. And we have arrived to Kabob Fusion Restaurant, the first Afghani restaurant I'll be going to here in Calgary. Pretty cool. Classy. Mm -hmm. 